136. The isotope strontium-90 is one of the extremely hazardous species in the residues from nuclear power generation. Cool. <laughs> the strontium in a 0.500 gram sample diminishes to 0.393 grams in 10 years. And from that information, we have to calculate the half-life. Okay. So, uh, we're talking about nuclear power generation, nuclear chemistry. We've given an isotope. This is clearly talking about radioactive decay. Chances are, if they're asking about half-lives, and they only give you one atom for an isotope, whether it's, you know, carbon or uranium, strontium, I don't know, thallium, it's going to be undergoing radioactive decay. Now, the good thing about any question like this that has anything to do with radioactive decay is that I don't care what isotope they give you, all radioactive decay abides by first order kinetics. And it's the same first order kinetics that you might have learned in your kinetics chapter. Now, just because we're in a different section, right, of the chemistry journey, right, usually this is nuclear chemistry, they might throw new formulas out at you to try to answer these problems. But I think, I say, wait a minute, right? If I already know my first order kinetic equations, which are these from the kinetic chapter, why do I have to memorize new formulas? I can just use those kinetic formulas and I can kill two birds with one stone. And that's exactly what we're going to do. I'm going to go back to my first order kinetic equations. There's two of them, right? The integrated rate laws and solve this problem. Now, the thing is, is that they say they wanted to calculate the half life. Now, a half life is generally a T with the half here. Out of your two first order kinetic equations, there's only one of them that deals with the specific half life. So we know at the end of the day, we are trying to solve for this. Because T half, that's the half life. Whoop, half life. So that's got to be X. Now, in this formula, 0 0.693 is a standard value. It's the ln of 2. And all we have to do is just divide by that rate constant. That's K. So I'm going to go back into the question to see, did they give me a rate constant? Chances are probably not. But I'm looking back. They gave me a gram amount. They gave me another gram amount. And they gave me a general time. No rate constant. So the first thing is, Hmm, in order to find out that half-life, I first have to find the rate constant. Enter in the other first-order kinetic equation that has the k value. So we're putting a halt to this because we first need to find out the rate constant. So here is my new x value. So we're trying to solve for the rate constant. Now let's see if we have the other three pieces to the puzzle. Now these A's, represented by A and just A0, these are your amounts, right? Now the A0, this stands for zero time has passed. So this one is always the initial amount. And the other one is always the final amount. Now the good thing about this equation is that you could use many different units. You could use molarities, you could use grams, you could use moles, you can use um, percents, and you could use fractions. In this case, they said that we have a strontium, right? That's the SR, SR strontium. And it says that we're, we have a 0 0.500 gram sample and it diminishes. So it seems like it's decaying. So it's breaking down. And we only have 0.393 left. So the 0.5 has to be the initial amount. So 0 0.500 grams. And if it's diminishing to only this amount, that's my final amount. So I got 0 0.393 grams as my final amount. My initial was 0 0.5. And the time that it took, that's the T. That's the time, the general time that it elapsed. It's not the half-life because there's no T half here. It's just the general time. But they're saying that this took 10 years? That's crazy. But anyway, from this information, we have everything to solve for the rate constant. 
So let's give it a go, shall we? LN, I'm just going to write out the, the framework here, plus LN. Okay, so we have LN of 0 0.393 equals X times the 10. And then the initial was 0 0.500. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to solve these two LNs first, simplify that, and see what I get. So we're going to do LN of 0.393. And I get this number, so I get negative 0 0.9339, I don't know, 5? I'll take the full number um, with the calculations. This just gets simplified to minus 10x, and then I'm going to do ln of 0.5, and I get another negative. So plus a negative turns into a negative. So this would be minus 0 0.6931, I guess, 5. All right, so now we just got to solve for x. So I'm going to plus this. Okay, plus this, 0 0.6931. This gets canceled out. And let's see what we got. Um, so I'm just going to take these total numbers. So this, I guess, minus, well, I don't know, how am I going to do this? Well, first thing, first thing, let's do, let's make this a positive value. So I'm just going to, oh boy, I'm going to take this, I'm going to times by negative one and then we're gonna do this plus this i could have just did minus i guess that number but it doesn't really matter but there we go okay so we have negative 0 0.24078 equals negative 10x solve for the x value by just dividing by negative 10. So essentially you're just moving the decimal over, but we'll do it on Calci. So this divided by negative 10 turns into a positive. And now that's the K value, right? The rate constant was 0 0.024078, 24078, 24078, yep. Oh, hold on, 240798. I'm just going to move this over. We're going to add a 9 over here. So we have a 9, 9, 8, and then 9, 8, but same answer. And this is going to be in years to the minus 1 because our time was in years. So the time unit has to stay the same. Now, since we found the k value, we know that this is 0 0.0240798. So we can now find out the half-life, t half, equals um, 0 0.693 divided by 0, 0.0. That reminds me. I don't, I don't really do it too well, but 0. Point zero two four zero seven nine eight <laughs> ah, okay um so that's in years so all we got to do is just take those values right divide them and there it is so my half life equals 28 point i guess we'll do 28.8 and just know that you know, your time was in years, the rate constant was in, you know, years minus one, so this has to be years. And that is the final answer. <laughs> Let's just color. Color, color, color. Color, 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 color chameleon. Yes, we love 80s music. All right. So there we go. 
I hope this helped. <laughs> Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for your support. We also have memberships on the channel. If you want to become a member to the channel, you obviously can. There's many different tiers. There's four tiers with different perks for each tier. So maybe one will suit your fancy. Um, but yeah, I hope you have a great day. Keep studying hard and I'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye-bye.